Hello, I am Marisha. Welcome to my creative diary. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm using scrapbook.com's latest exclusive products to create a Christmas card and matching tag. So let's go ahead and get started. Using scrapbook.com's cozy foliage die set, I die cut the pine cones and leaves off camera. For my panel and mat, I'm going to use Honeybee Stamps Stacking Art Deco Labels die set. I also embossed a panel using Spellbinder's Plaid Company embossing folder. Using a piece of mint tape, I'm going to position the acorns on the mint tape. You do have the option to use a sticky mat or any other sticky surface that you can use to position your die cuts. I just find for me, I'm always using my mint tape. I'm now going to bring in Distress Oxide's Vintage Photo and I'm going to add shading to the acorns. I'm then going to use Distress Oxide's Rustic Wilderness to add shading to the pine leaves. You also have the option to die cut these elements from white cardstock and color them using another medium, such as an ink or Copic marker. I'm also going to apply Distress Oxide's Ground Espresso to the pine leaves and also to the acorns as well. I'm now applying Vintage Photo around the edge of the Art Deco label cutout. And these are my two main colors that I'm using for this card, uh, Vintage Photo and Ground Espresso. And as you see, I'm going to apply Ground Espresso next. Once I'm done applying the oxide, I'm then going to apply the same colors around the edge of the embossed panel. I can't believe that I am already talking about Christmas and have been for the past couple of weeks because the way time is going by so fast, Christmas will be here in like two weeks. <laughs> Now I'm going to spritz some water on my panel. I'm then going to use a paper towel to soak up the excess water. Then from there, I'm going to take my panel over to my Misty, where I'm going to bring in scrapbook.com's Celebrate Expression stamp set, one of my absolute favorite stamp sets. It includes all sentiments for the holidays throughout this year. I'm then going to select the Merry Christmas. I'm going to ink up the stamp and I'm going to stamp the panel. Once I adhere the panel to the gold mat, I'm going to position it on the embossed panel. And then from there, I'm going to bring in the acorn and pine leaves. And I'm just going to play around with the placement of these elements. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to use adhesive glue and foam tape to adhere them to the panel. Now, when it comes to layering different elements to my cards, I have no particular way in which I do so. I just basically just play around with the placement of the different elements. And once I'm happy with it, then I will adhere them to my panels. And every now and then, once I'm done adhering the elements to my cards, sometimes I'll take a second look and I'm thinking, hmm, something's missing, which I did with this card. Once I was done with the panel, I looked at it and I was like, oh, something's missing. And that's when I went back and added extra uh, pine leaves to uh, the panel. Once I'm done, I'm going to adhere the front to the card base. Then from there, I want to add what resembles snow on the acorns and pine leaves. So I brought in Distress Glitter Clear Rock Candy. Once I'm done sprinkling the Clear Rock Candy on the card, I'm going to set it aside and allow it to dry. Once I did that, I thought, something's missing so I went ahead and just added a few embellishments to the card and then I thought something is still missing so what I ended up doing was I brought in Lawn Fawn's chunky glitter 
and I decided to add it to the card. So I went back over the pine leaves and acorns and applied some artiste glue. And then just like I did with the uh, clear rock candy, I sprinkled the glitter on my card. Then I'm going to tap off the excess and then place the card to the side to allow it to dry. Then I decided, why not make a matching tag? So guess what? I brought in scrapbook.com's wafer thin nested ovals die set. And I die cut two ovals, one largest from the colored cardstock and the smallest oval from white cardstock. I am basically repeating the same steps as I did to create the card. We're just flipping it to create a tag. So as you see here, I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the tag. And then from there, I'm going to apply some heat to the tag just to make sure that it is dry. I'm now going to adhere the ovals together. And then I'm going to bring in the pine cones and leaves. And I'm going to adhere them to the tag. Once I'm done, I'm going to bring in scrapbook.com's bow toppers die set. This is an adorable 10 piece die set. I'm going to select the die to die cut a bow from gold cardstock. I'm then going to adhere the bow and the pearl embellishments on the tag. Then from there, I'm going to punch a hole and then I'm going to thread twine through the hole. Once I add the chunky glitter to the tag, this project will be complete. Here's a look back at the card that was created. Very simple, easy, elegant card to create for the holiday season. And here is the matching tag. Very simple, very easy to create. Thank you for joining me on today. I appreciate you as always for stopping by. I thank you in advance for subscribing, clicking the thumbs up button and the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my blog at thediaryofbellrose.com. I'm sending you love and a whole lot of hugs. Until the next crafty project, please take care.